what is poppy y'all welcome back to another reaction video so we about to get into this jesse nelson on leaving little mix her mental health and new solo music i'm assuming that this is her first interview since leaving so i'm really excited to hear an update on how she's been doing hopefully all good news and she has solo music so i'm excited to see what ma'am is going to be talking about so without further ado guys we just gonna hop straight into this video so let's go how did it feel when I finally left Little Mix? Okay, now I kept it in for such a long time and that's why I kept breaking down and crying about it because I had never spoken about it before. When you keep it all in up here, it just makes it 10 times worse. I think it's gonna be a brand new experience, but at the same time, exciting. Hi guys, I'm Jessie Nelson and I'm here getting up close with Cosmo UK. I love this hair. I love big hair. I'm going to be answering some questions about my life, my career and everything in between. So let's go. Don't forget to subscribe now so you can see more videos like this. Ooh, what can fans expect next from Jesse Nelson? Ah, oh, it's so exciting! Um, you can expect some new music. Hey! You can expect lots of new content from me and lots okay. of other little things that I can't reveal yet. Oh, I have so many things on my bucket list that I want to cross off. There's too many. I've actually got a vision board in the music studio and we write all the things down in there that we want to achieve. I mean, she looks I good, you know. What I would love to achieve is win a Brit Award on my own. Healthy. That would be, or even just to perform at the Brits on my own. That would be my, a massive dream for me. The best and worst things about being in the spotlight. Well, for me personally, there's a lot more worse than there are good. But um, the worst things are, I guess everyone just being able to have an opinion on you when they don't actually know you and kind of just having to deal with that on the daily. And eventually you do get a thick skin, but sometimes when you have a bit of a crap day, it can really get to you. Yeah. And the best things for me personally about being in the spotlight are genuinely just having the most incredible fans. like. Some of, generally, the majority of my fans have become my friends and mm -hmm. I speak to them pretty much nearly every day and they're just amazing. How did it feel when I finally left Little Mix? It was a mix of emotions. Um, I was sad, but at the same time, mentally, I felt free and like a massive weight had been lifted off my shoulders because for me, I felt an enormous amount of pressure being in a girl group. Mm. Okay, the hardest part about being in a girl group for me was constantly being compared to three other girls and not feeling as though I was good enough. Good enough. And the best part of being in a girl group was Sisterhood. just everything that we achieved together and just building the most incredible fan base and traveling the world together. Do you know what? I haven't really thought or had any reservations about going solo because one, I've not really thought about it too much. I've genuinely just gone in the studio and just I just wanted to go in the studio and have fun because for me, music is my life. It's my passion and it was something I was always gonna do. So I haven't really thought too much about it. I mean, it's definitely gonna be a massive shock to the system because I've obviously been so used to having, you know, my three girls around me, but yeah, I think it's oh, going to be a brand new experience, but at the same time, exciting. Aww. Do they still talk? My day-to-day -day life now I'm is sure a lot more chilled, for sure. Um, I spend a, a good few more hours in bed, which is lovely. <laughs> um, just, it's a lot more free. And um, I guess not as structured. Um, yeah. There have been actually a few band members that have reached out to me. Liam Payne from One Direction was one of them. He actually sent me a really oh. nice message just basically saying if I ever wanted to talk, he's always here, which was really lovely. If I could say anything to anyone that's struggling with their mental health at the moment, the best thing you can do is one, surround yourself with people that genuinely make you happy. Life is far too short to be around people that bring you down and don't make you happy. To talk to someone. That for me is the biggest part of mental health, talking to someone, <laughs> letting it all out. When you keep it all in up here, it just makes it 10 times worse. And just be kind to yourself. I think as humans, 
we find it so easy to like put ourselves down. Like it's so much easier for us to say negative things about ourselves than actually say positive things. And I think we genuinely have to like train our brains into actually being nice to ourselves because we're not. Facts. I mean, for me, like when Facts. I realized I actually needed to speak about it was when I physically like, I actually couldn't do interviews and have questions mm. asked about it to me because I just would break down and I knew that that was, wasn't right. Like I, and I kept it in for such a long time and that's why I kept breaking down and crying about it because I had never spoken about it before. And once I started speaking about it, like I definitely cried a lot, but Ooh. I always say like, I don't understand why people get so like afraid to cry or so like when, when somebody cries, you're very, you're very quick to be like, oh, oh, oh God, and it, you always stop yourself from crying, but it's just an emotion. Like when you laugh, when you're happy, you don't stop yourself from laughing. So I never understand why people stop themselves from crying. And for me, like, I think if you feel sad, let yourself be sad. There's nothing wrong with that. Like we're not robots, we're all humans and we all feel these emotions. And I think you've just got to let yourself feel how you want to feel and talk about it. Do you know what? I actually have so many people that I lean on for support and I feel so lucky to have as many people as I do. I mean, my best friends, uh, my family, um, and I just, I honestly think it's so important to have people around you that just genuinely lift you up and make you feel good. Oh gosh, message I have for trolls. <laughs> oh, it's really hard because for me, I see trolls so differently now. Like back in the day when I used to get trolled, it genuinely used to upset me so much. And I used to be like, I don't understand why everyone hates me. And now I look at it as though I actually genuinely feel sorry for trolls because for me, if you feel the need to be negative towards someone, it's because you don't feel good within yourself. When you're There's a happy off. person who's happy with their life, you don't feel the need to go around being nasty to people. And so you kind of have to feel sorry for them because there must be something very deep rooted within them that's making them feel that sad. They want to be negative towards other people. They want to bring you what down advice with would them. I give my younger self? Oh my God, I'd give myself so much advice. But then I kind of feel like it wouldn't have made me who I am today. Oh gosh. I mean, I'd tell myself that it's going to be all right. You're going to get through it, even though you think you're not. And just enjoy it every day as much as possible because you just, you live once and as cheesy as that sounds, you never know when it's gonna end. So yeah, just enjoy it to the fullest. Oh my gosh, when I'm at my happiest, when I'm with my friends and family and that's the God's honest truth or when I'm in the studio making music, that's when I'm my happiest. One of my happy places is when I'm with my friends or family and all my girls will get together and we'll, they'll come to mine and we'll just get a takeaway, we'll watch films. Me and my makeup artist, who's also my best friend Heidi, mm. she, um, we love horror films, but we're the only two in our circle that love watching horrors. So yeah, it never really works out in the end, but I would personally watch a horror, a very twisted horror. Yeah, that's, that's for me my happy place. My favorite red carpet look of all time. Ooh, probably when I did the NTA Awards and I had my big orange dress and I got to design it with Suzanne Neville and that was so much fun. Yeah, I'd probably say that for me. But oh my God, In I remember at the awards, a drunk lady stood on my dress and ripped it and I was like, <laughs> <laughs> I was so <laughs> But at the same time, I was so happy because I'd won an award. So I was like, oh, oh whatever. No, bitch. So it's somewhere in my wardrobe with a big massive rip in it, which is, Oh, hell no. I would 1 million percent say it's harder to date when you're in the public eye because you can't bother to get away from it. <sighs> the amount of crap that I've seen written about who I'm with, who I'm seeing, who I'm dating, I'm just like, oh. No, mm -hmm. it's definitely, yeah, a lot harder, I would say. If I could click my fingers and be anywhere right now with anyone, God, I really don't know. Cause like, would I go for a famous pop star or would I just go for my best mate? I think I'm gonna choose my best mate, but I've got too many best friends. Am I only allowed one? I'm gonna take three. I know I'm not allowed, but I'm gonna take Heidi, Delem and Charlotte. Where would we be going? Oh, somewhere hot. Actually, a dream of mine has been to travel America to just get in like a, is it a, a, like a camper van and just travel all of America? That is my dream. So that's where we'd be going. Girl, come on over. I wasn't come doing on. Music. <laughs> I would, I mean. Make sure you stop sure by I where I'm at. You know this, but I love dancing. Like, dancing is my main passion. 
I would probably say more than singing. I started off dancing when I was really young and then fell into singing. But obviously I was so lucky to get to do both. But yeah, I would like to be a professional dancer. I would love to make more documentaries. I don't think I'd like to do one right now unless it was something that I felt really passionately about or it was something that was really close to my heart. But no, definitely, I'd definitely be up for doing more documentaries. I would never say no to acting. I um, acted when I was younger and I loved it. It'd be very scary now, like having to do auditions in front of massive directors. That would be terrifying. I'm happy to hear that, you know, since she left the group or whatever and the experience that she had and her feelings, that it hasn't killed her passion to continue to make music because I know like some shit that can happen to you, it'll leave a bad taste in your mouth and it'll kind of kill your passion and your energy to do some shit. You know what I'm saying? But with her, it wasn't the music that bothered her. It was just the environment and basically what she said, you know, what she had to go through that um made her want to leave and that kind of, it, it, I don't want to say it killed her spirit, but it killed her just wanting to be in a girl group. And, you know, to go back to the part where she said something about crying in front of people, I know with like some people, they feel like they don't want a pity party or they don't want to feel like they're burdening people with their feelings and emotions. They don't want to feel like, because some people will say like, you're just looking for attention or just suck it up, it's not that bad. They don't want that. So I know a lot of people, they would like literally hold in their true emotions. They'll just bottle it in and that's not good. You gotta let that shit out. Otherwise it'll fuck you up. It'll catch up to you. It'll catch up to you eventually. And like she said, every time they would ask her a question, she would break down and cry cause she was holding that shit in. But like she said, it felt good to like let that out to people. But yeah, that was my reaction guys to this video. If you guys enjoyed my reaction, please make sure to leave a like, comment and subscribe. And I will see you in my next reaction video.